There's something about walking up to our church and our school when you walk through the front door. One of the first things you see, one of the very first things you see is Our Lady of Guadalupe. A saint, yes, Mary, who visited a Mexican, a Latino. This isn't a church where most Marys look like this. Or this. Yet somehow the church has seen fit to feature a saint close to the heart of the people it serves. But why, in only a few short yards away, is the school so different today? Uh, no, I don't feel sense. empowered as a young Filipino man. Um, I kind of ashamed sometimes at school for what we learn because like all they teach is like about old white men. We're pretty much dead and I think that Yellow Lives Matter, which is like Asian, but I feel like every life should matter and just, just, this doesn't just apply for Filipinos. It should apply for like like Mexican people, uh, black people, like all races, like Indian, all that type of stuff. And also white people too, but like they, they always hog the whole thing and stuff like that. Alan, do you feel that uh, the curriculum today is inclusive? Oh, definitely not because um, it's, oh, I would keep saying this, but it's always about like, like the white people and stuff like that, which is not bad, but I think that every race should be taught because everybody's life does matter. And I think that if uh, the school started to do that, I think other people would be more interested in learning and stuff like that. My interest is not reflected in curriculum. And like, my teachers kind of like, what they was teaching me kind of made me feel like, like they was like, it wasn't really teaching me much, you know? Like, I think they should focus on more of like what the kids are actually interested in so they can like learn them things so like when they get to college they be able to like get more into details of what they want to do instead of like when they get to college they have all this knowledge that really means shit to them because they got like focus on other things when they're in college and, like none of that shit really matter in high school or middle school. Are any of your Filipino um, heroes or role models included in the curriculum being taught? No, none of them actually, are, like, there's none related to it. It's always, like, about, like, other races, like, Americans and stuff like that. And I think that they should, uh, the school system should Im implement, like, every type of race and stuff like that so everybody can relate. Because not everybody can relate to, like, some old white man, which is not bad, but, I mean, not everybody can. All white America that we just didn't need to know about. We probably just need to learn stuff that will happen in, like, other countries and stuff because that will probably benefit us more, you know? So I'm just wondering whether you felt empowered by the education you received growing up or whether you sort of felt left behind. I never feel like knowledge is useless information, but what I think that the school curriculum does lack is the ability to teach students how to apply the knowledge that they're learning to their everyday life. And because of that, it makes children not want to learn and it puts them down in a certain sense. And you know, it's just a lot of useless information that they're not gonna use until they, you know, get older and maybe wanna be using that in their job, you know? Do you remember the kind of books they had you read, whether they were from your background or whether it was just stuff that wasn't relevant to you? Um, the books that, you know, I read throughout high school and even a little bit in college, you know, they didn't really apply to me too much. Um, nor were they really too interesting. There were a lot of uh, older literature, which I think it's good to again have older literature in there, you know, so we can get a taste of what it was and how life was back then and also get a very deep and enriched understanding of old literature. But I think they should integrate it with new literature that, you know, grabs the, the reader's attention and, and makes the children want to uh, learn more, you know, about those certain subjects that they're trying to teach, you know, something that's interesting. I love this mosaic, which is built into the front wall of our school, and it's, you see all races, all cultures, people of every gender and color and creed. It's the diversity of our school, yes, but it's the diversity of our community and our nation as well. But this mosaic isn't yet a true depiction of the education we offer. It's a promise, a goal. It's high time we make it a reality.